Hi, my name is Jem Otokolaj. We are here joined today with Dr. Kutlu Otokolaj. How are you today? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. Tell us about yourself a little. Well, I'm a pediatrician and at my time, uh, most of the pediatric psychiatric problems were not as popular as nowadays. For example, what impressed me one was uh, after I saw a four-year-old child examine him, and, and just he was leaving my office, and I said goodbye, and just he comes and grabs me and says, I wish you were my father. Now, this is very important. A four-year-old child says, I wish you were my father to a person that is not his father, but his doctor. And so you have to spend a lot of, lot of time. Why does he think like that? I'm not his father. And all that time we had all sorts of psychiatric problems. But uh, it wasn't very popular like this. I mean, it, but I mean, even the doctors didn't know so much about uh, autism or some other pediatric problems. And, and just you send them to the university and the doctor says a few words and says goodbye. And now it's so different. I'm proud. I wish I was practicing now. <laughs> now I'm 19 years old, so no chance to. Could you elaborate on the evaluation of pediatric for special needs individuals and how the awareness has improved over the years? No, of course, now I am uh, retired and it's very hard for me. I mean, I love children. I never got tired of them. And I stayed about 10 years in America and I love the children over there and the children love me. Then I came home and it's the same thing. And the child is a huge, huge world full of everything. And just you wouldn't expect from the child this. And, and there is no uh, abnormal child. Every child is normal. I mean, it depends on the psychiatrist, how he treats the child. Oh, you're abnormal, go away. No, it's not like that. It's what he thinks like that. And so you have to correct him if it's not the way. And now it's so different. I was, I was practicing nowadays. Of course, I'm not working. I'm 90 years old, but I still love the children and I love uh, the doctors that know so much about uh, psychotic problems. If the child has a, a pneumonia or some encephalitis, oh, encephalitis, well, when you treat it, it's all over. But in psychiatry, it's not like that. Okay, now this is your medicine. You take it four times a day, about a week, then bye-bye. No, it's not like that. For the whole life, you have to work with that child. And the child has to believe in you. If the child doesn't believe you, then you can't be successful in the treatment of a child with uh, psychiatric problems. Uh, after I finished my uh, medical school in Ankara, par Right in Ankara, I came to the United States, and it was my first time. And so I stayed about seven years in the States, and I never forget my practice here. I love the children, and the children is the same all over the world. And, and I love the children, and they love me too. And, and meanwhile, I met my wife, we got married, I had my first child, said I was born in the States, and everything was wonderful that time in the States and just enter the States. But the thing, I mean, the children are the same all over the world. They are the same. But some children, they get it faster. It, it, well, it's because of the environment. So how they get it faster. But the feeling is the same. If the child is a child of a millionaire, or if it's a child of a very poor family financially, but it's still the child with the, that uh, uh, psychiatric problem. And the doctor has to have patience. It doesn't go away just like that. It takes uh, months or years sometimes. And sometimes he will be like that all over his life. Well, I like it. Any advice you would like to give any new pediatricians in the field? Young pediatricians that they have to, I mean, now, young pediatricians, they have to be interested in the psychiatry, psychology and psychiatry and they have to respect it. I know everything, no. There's a branch like pediatric psychology, pediatric psychiatry. And so pediatric psychiatrists, psychologists can take very good uh, 
uh, therapy for it for the child with the psychiatric problems and I think it, it should be a must so I, I mean when you take your child to a pediatrician for normal uh, checkups and so forth at least once a year the pediatric should check the child from psychiatric point of view if he's all right well it's, well, it's all right nothing to but show me and you have to talk to the parents and talk to them and talk to them and the parents should believe in you it's very important if they if they don't believe in that okay doctor bye bye I went my I got my child to the pediatric doctor he saw the child there's nothing wrong nah, it wasn't like that thank you for joining us Dr. Kulu Altaklaj you're most welcome I'm proud that's all the time we have for today thank you again join us next time here at AKF